Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another update video for Darkest Dungeon 2. This, this is a surprise. This just randomly dropped today. Was not expecting this. Glad I'm home work from home, uh, home work from sick today. You know what I'm trying to say. Let's get into these patch notes. These just came out and there's quite a few big changes, specifically to everybody's favorite, the Vestal. Something that we didn't think was going to happen for quite a while. I wouldn't call this a full overhaul like it has been with other heroes, but this is definitely uh, a rework of her to a degree. Some pretty big changes, and I feel like just a quick read gives me an idea that this is probably a good direction. I don't know if this is a perfect direction, but uh, definitely a hero that a lot of people wanted her to have looked at. So let's see it how these things are. Let's first of all take a look at some things at the beginning here. So, Heroes, Flagellant, fixed an issue preventing Fester and Fester Plus from being correctly affected by Blight Amount, Duration, Resistance, Piercing buffs and debuffs. Uh, that should give Fester some love. Uh, it's an ability not many people use. Uh, Jester has a fix where allowing Wanderer Finale and Finale Plus to stress heal the Jester upon killing a corpse. Same thing of Virtuoso. That's just in line with most heroes in the game. Some still do have that on corpse kill effect, but Jester has been fixed to reflect this. Um, Man at Arms fixed an issue with strategic withdrawal not correctly providing death's door effects if the skill missed. Okay. So if the skill misses, it still should apply the effects, so that's good. Um, made a small clarity fix in the tooltip for Vanguard Bello, excellent. Runaway, fixed an issue preventing Firefly combo burn from being correctly affected by burn amounters. Okay, similar to the flags issues there. And fixed an issue preventing Ransack combo burn from being correctly affected by burn amount. So there's probably been a lot of times that we haven't been getting those benefits that we've been looking for. Interesting. Uh, Vestal, adjustments have been made to improve some skill synergies and make certain effects more accessible. So, big changes here on the Vestal. Wanderer, Divine Grace Threshold has increased from 25% to 33%. Okay, so that's good. That makes it much more accessible. No longer need to be all the way down to 25%. You can now do it to 33%. This is something that a lot of people have been wanting. Divine Grace base healing has been reduced down to 20%. Okay, it's coming with a little bit of a sacrifice, but I'd rather have some healing than no healing. Divine Grace Plus now gains plus 10% crit chance at 3% conviction in addition to... Oh, wow. So she gets a chance to crit. Interesting. I like that. That gives a little bit more... You know, you really want to hold on to those big heals. You actually have a much higher chance to get a crit heal. And considering she has still one of the most potent heals in the game, as far as percentage wise, that could be pretty good. Hand of Light launch ranks have increased to one, two, and three. Thank you. Hand of Light now usable from rank three is huge. Illumination and Illumination Plus now inflict days. Ooh, okay. I can think of a few synergies with that. So that's really good. It now has an innate 5% crit chance, and it now consumes crit tokens. Okay, that makes sense. Um, interesting. I was thinking it might end up being a stun, but a daze is absolutely fine. You can definitely synergize that with other heroes to make it into a stun. Um, very cool. Mantra and Mantra Plus can now be used from all ranks. Mantra now benefits from Conviction. Interesting. Mantra now gains plus 10% healed for a total of 20% at 2 times Conviction. Okay, um, gains an additional 10% heal for a total of 30% at three times conviction. The heal bonus at two times conviction has been increased to plus from plus 10% to plus 20%. Okay, mantra tooltip format corrected to be consistent with Divine Grace's conviction presentation. Okay, so mantra feels like a just another baseline heal. Interesting. Um, what does she need in order to use... Con I think it's uh, Consecration on Wanderer. Like, what does she need to be able to do to target people with Mantra? I can't recall on Wanderer. I don't use her enough, but that sounds like a good change. Chaplain, Path Seal has been updated. Now has a 60% chance to rede receive an additional Conviction token uh, when being crit. Okay, cool. So she gets crit, she gets a little benefit potentially, so she can stack a lot faster. Hand of Light damage has increased to 2 to 3. Hand of Light Plus has increased to 3 to 4. Okay, that makes more damage. I mean, it's not much, but it's still there. But now it's usable from rank 3, so that's very useful. Ministrations is now a path skill. Okay. Ministrations launch ranks has changed to 3 to 4 from 1 to 2. Oh, shit. All right. That's one way of doing that. I know a lot of people wanted rank 3 ministrations, but this is rank 3 and 4 ministrations. Very potent. Okay. 
Uh, Mantra and Mantra Plus no longer require that the target has guard. Okay. Uh, oh, and Mantra, Mantra Plus cooldown has increased to two. I missed that line. Mantra is now a self-target skill. Mantra now benefits from Conviction. Mantra now gains 10% heal total, 20% 2x, and now heals two... Now heals two stress at 3x Conviction. So it's a self-heal. Mantra base heal has been reduced. Mantra plus heal bonus at 2x Conviction has been increased. Okay, so she basically heals more for having more Conviction tokens. And at 3, she'll also self-heal stress, which makes sense because she's supposed to be tanking, right? Mantra will additionally heal... Additionally, target any heroes of guard applying mantra effects at half strength. Oh, okay, so she still heals guard to people, but it's ho it's focusing on herself, so she can still use it. It's just that if somebody is guarded, she can heal them as well. So you can end up healing three people with this. Mantra tooltip format correctly uh, changed. Okay. Updated path seal text for confessor to use resistance piercing language instead of chance. Updated conviction token description to use resistance piercing instead of chance. Okay, it's consistent language is good. Hand of Light launch ranks have changed from 1 to 2 to 2 to 3. Okay, so this is a back rank ability now. Damage has been increased to 2 to 3. Okay, interesting. Judgment damage slightly increased. Judgment damage slightly increased on the plus. Judgment crit has increased. Wow, judgment really coming in potent here. Judgment weak tokens at 2x conviction increased from 1 to 2. That's huge. Thank you. I was hoping they'd switch the vulnerable on the weak, but at least it's 2. That's really good. Judgment now also inflicts days at 3x conviction. Oh, that's huge. Judgment now inflicts... Oh, Judgment Plus can now stun? Oh my god, she's back! <laughs> stun Vestal's back, baby! Holy crap! I mean, it's it's not easy to get, but you can do it. Wow. Mantra can now be used from all ranks. Mantra no longer interacts with Consecration. Mantra now targets any hero with a negative token. Okay. Oh, okay. So it heals people with negative tokens. Mantra cooldown increased from 0 to 3. Wow, they must think this is a big ability. Mantra now benefits from Conviction. Okay, so it's not Consecration-based, it's Conviction-based. Sorry, I get those two mixed up all the time. Mantra now removes two negative tokens at 2x Conviction. Mantra now gains 10% healed for a total of 20% at 3x Conviction, and Mantra Plus now removes 3 negative tokens at 2 Conviction, and does 15% healed for a total of 25% at 3x. Wow, big heal and 3 tokens being removed. That's very potent. The tooltip has been upgraded. Okay. Uh, her trinkets have changed. Icon of the Light changed. 2 regen dealt, plus 2 regen dealt while in rank 4 has changed to plus 1 regen dealt or plus two regen dealt when flame is at 100. Okay, so it's not rank specific. So we lose that on the plus two, but you can get it for the beginning of the fight. And if you want to be diligent about using your torches, fine. But you still get plus one no matter where she is. So that's really good. Um, blah, 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 blah. Changed melee skills from minus 50% damage to gain when crit flame minus five. Wow, that's a unique interaction. We haven't seen that yet. Like a flame remover? Interesting. Profane scroll reworked to 1 to 2 damage if flame is less than 50, plus 30% stun resist piercing. Self ally behind hand of light skills guard 2. Okay. Gain on miss plus 1 stress. Okay, so she gets guard, not taunt. Okay, I mean, that seems fine. Uh, cultist changes. So, oh, look, look, listening to the Vestal there. That sounds like some really good changes. I, th I think it's not as big as maybe some people want. But overall, I mean, I feel she's going to be much more usable. She definitely feels... There's definitely a lot more focus on healing, but she is a heal hero. Like, that is her focus. There's just different tools for her to do it with. Um, she can stun now. I mean, overall, I think people are going to like playing her more. Um, I have recently been on the bandwagon that Vestal is, is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised to see no Seraph works. They definitely seem to light, unless I missed it. Like, Confessor, Chaplain, Wonder... Yeah, nothing to Seraph. So, they're either comfortable with how Seraph operates right now, or they just don't want a mess of it right now, but... Hmm, interesting. Enemies, Cultists, Cardinal and... Tro okay, so we got Cardinal changes. Let's listen, this is big. Cardinal and Tropic Star launch ranks have been adjusted from just 4 to 3 and 4. This increases its availability, and in most battlefield positions available to size 2 monsters, reduces the frequency of Hollow Vessel as a result. Okay, so, if he's in ranks 2 or 3, or 3 and 4, he can use Entropic Star. He doesn't have to just be in rank 3 and 4. Okay, so that is not 
it is an indirect nerf to Hollow Vessel. Okay. And Tropic Star now has a cooldown of one. I don't know if that means it came down. I think it had no cooldown. So they've increased the cooldown of it. So they definitely want it to use Hollow Vessel. And Tropic Star now inflicts a weighted selection of either Blind, Weak, or Daze instead of a Vulnerable Token. I kind of like that. Blind is annoying. It's weighted. I don't know which way it's weighted. But Blind, Weak, or Daze are fine. Vulnerable definitely had problems being a little too potent in my opinion because vulnerable hits with Hollow Vessel was just a lot. Interesting. Evangelist. Nocturne Commune now grants one death armor if Evangelist is on death's door. That is my idea, I'm pretty sure. Bro, that's... I know a lot of people don't want that, but my least... One of my least favorite things was just always seeing Evangelist doing Nocturne Commune when they have a dot and they're on death's... Like, and they, they hit, go down to death's door with a dot, they have a dot, they do Nocturne Commune, and it's like, cool. This enemy just wasted its turn. At least now, you do have to hit them again, right? Like, this is... That, I think that is absolutely fine. I think you still have an enemy that's very close to being dead, but you, you're not out of the thicket yet. I'm probably going to hate this change in the long run, but okay. Uh, pillagers. Hatchet. Finishing blow has been adjusted to provide value to the guarding, to guarding the skill's target. Finishing blow damage has been reduced. Okay, so this... Okay, so before, the way this worked is that if he did finishing blow which the only requirement was that somebody had combo that he could target, right? If he hit somebody who was guarding the person with the combo, it still did the same amount of damage because the ability just had that damage range, right? Oh, the only thing he needed to use the ability was to have a combo. So if you guarded, you weren't really, you were stopping that person who was getting hit. So maybe you could still control where it was going, but you weren't getting any damage reduction. So the way this works now is that the ability does less damage base, right? but it does more damage against combo targets specifically. So you can guard it to take the three to five damage, or you can get hit by it and it does more damage. It's probably gonna end up doing way more damage in the long run that, that plus 100% is probably gonna make that ability really fucking hit. So guarding it is definitely gonna be a much higher priority um, or, or moving the combo out of the way or whatever the case is. But I think that's a good change. It definitely makes that prioritization feel smart. Uh, let's see, uh, Leviathan. Breath of the Sea no longer removes a dodge token from targets alongside its guaranteed hit. That's perfect. It's a guaranteed hit. Fine. The game wants to guarantee a hit to make sure the mechanic works. Don't remove dodge. It's unfair. Eyes of the Deep and Eye of the Deep, which is a really rare attack. You very rarely see Eye of the Deep. No longer remove a dodge token from targets alongside the guaranteed hit. Again, this makes sense. If it's a guaranteed hit, that's fine. The game is allowed to have those systems in place, but make it so that way you can't get out of it. Love that. Great. Uh, some changes. Uh, fixes. Added localization. Okay. Added traditional Chinese. Fixed transparent blood. Fixed double combo icon on Trapeum's tooltip. Uh, okay. This is under fixes. This is interesting. Cruel intent reworked. How is this a fix? But okay. Cruel intent been reworked to combat start blind two, gain on crit, blind one. Okay. So if you crit with it, you get a blind as well. And gain on miss plus 10% crit. Oh, okay. So you can miss and you still get a benefit from missing. It kind of stacks, right? Oh, for one battle. Oh, so it's state. Oh, so if you miss like twice right off the bat, you just have 20% crit for the rest of the fight. There is maybe a huge argument here for purposefully missing in boss fights in order to try and get advantage of this. Um, obviously you can't take off the token, the trinket middle. Okay, my cat is moving my microphone here, <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, Nox, you can't be in the video. Uh, snap judgment replaced. If last in turn order, add one negative token has been replaced with if last in turn order minus six speed wow damn that base so that basically resets it huh it doesn't look like that's a debuff that lasts three turns it looks like it just reduces your speed by six so my guess is that if you you do not want to be moved right uh or you don't want to be last right you don't want to get dazed um you have to have something there because otherwise you reset you go back to the beginning and you have to stack your speed back up again that is brutal but it makes sense because the negative of that never felt like much of a negative this actually feels like a oh fuck like that's bad because once you got the speed up it was like eh, who cares sometimes i might get dazed it doesn't matter right handling of missing skill from old active data not loading properly remove profile okay okay all right for a random patch that's really really good i think a lot of people are going to be excited to see that i don't know what's going on in the inn right now um i think a lot of people generally seem to be excited for it 
uh but we'll have to see if you want to make sure you're here for these discussions definitely join the darkest dungeon discord it is a great place to hang out with and chat and be all doing all sorts of stuff and whatnot and uh hey while you're at it also consider joining my discord we talk about darkest dungeon 2 all the time um we even have me trying to learn how to mod there is my oh and now he's knocking things over so there's my cat saying goodbye to you guys uh anyway have a great rest of your day thanks all for watching this video i appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one Bye-bye.